Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson in this Tosca automation playlist. Today I'm going to show you how you can execute JavaScript on your browser using one of the Tosca automation modules. So there are some standard modules inside the Tbox X engines and HTML where you can find the modules called the execute JavaScript and verify JavaScript result. So using these two modules, you can either execute a particular JavaScript or you can also verify the result of a JavaScript. Okay. So let's see how we can use these modules uh, to execute a JavaScript and then verify the result of it. So uh, I am in my test cases folder and I have already created a test case called execute JavaScript. Now inside this, we are going to drag the module or add the module. Okay. So as I said, uh, it is under standard modules, Tbox, X engines, and then HTML. Here we'll find the two modules, execute JavaScript and verify JavaScript result. Okay. So uh, let's add these modules into our test case. So I'm going to drag the execute JavaScript here first. And uh, then coming to module attributes for this module, uh, we need to provide a title of the window. Uh, this is the browser window and then uh, the JavaScript, the actual JavaScript, which you want to execute. Okay. So in title, I'm going to use a regular expression, uh, which means it can be any title. Okay. And then I'm going to write some JavaScript right here. So I'm going to use window dot location dot href. Okay. And then I'm going to use uh, the actual web page here site so i've already copied this website uh, source demo this is what i want to open and this is the javascript which we want to execute so let's go ahead and execute this now so run this in scratch book and now uh, we will get an error here okay so in the log info you can see uh, that it is asking to define a test configuration parameter for browser and also enter the actual browser on which we want to perform this okay so this is a mandatory requirement if you don't do this then you will get this uh, invalid operation exception okay so let's go into our test case go to the test configuration tab here uh, we are going to add a new test configuration parameter called browser and then uh, we are going to choose the chrome browser right here okay now let's go ahead and execute this again. Now you can see in the background, it has uh, redirected your web page to sourcedemo.com on the Chrome browser. And our test case has actually passed. So it was able to execute the particular JavaScript, right? So this is how you can execute any particular JavaScript. Uh, either it is to move to a particular web page or performing some actions on your web elements. So any JavaScript uh, which can be done on the browser, uh, you can execute it right here using this module. Now the next module which we want to check is the verify JavaScript result. So let's add another test case here to verify JavaScript. Okay, and then I'm going to add the module here called verify JavaScript result. And here again, um, you need to provide a title uh, then the JavaScript and then the result, okay, which has got an action mode verify. So it is going to perform a verification. Okay, so let's first see what we want to verify here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to verify uh, some cookies from the website. Okay, so let's check on the website what cookies are available here. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, developer tools and uh, right here. Uh, I'm going to find the cookies for this particular website. Okay, so currently there are no cookies, but if I'm going to enter some standard user right here and uh, the password. Now, if I log in into this website, you will see that a session cookie has been created called session username and the value for this is standard underscore user. And that is what I want to verify from the JavaScript. Okay. So let's go back here and in the title, I'm going to give a star again. And then in the JavaScript, I am going to say return document.cookie. 
Okay, so what it is going to do is it is going to return uh, the cookie which is present in that HTML document. And then I want to verify whether that cookie contains uh, the username. Okay, so we have to give the cookie name here which is session username and value standard user. Okay, so let's go here and then uh, we are going to say session username equals uh, and then we are going to copy this standard user okay so right here standard underscore user so this is the cookie which is present here and this is what uh, we want to verify okay so let's go ahead and execute this now okay uh, the same error again uh, i should have done this at the folder level not at the test case level okay so let's do one thing uh, for now i will just add it here as well but ideally we should have done that at a folder level okay so browser and chrome and then let's go ahead and execute this now and you will see the verification was successful uh, this was the expected value and this was the actual value okay so this way you can also verify some results uh, which is returned from your javascript using this particular module so these are the two modules which are present in the tosca automation modules under html engine and this you can use to execute in javascript or verify the result of the javascript that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.